Hey, what's up, YouTube, and welcome to TBCS, aka the best car show. Today, I got news from McLaren, something from Mercedes, Fiat, and also about Paul Walker's father. Harvey, what you got? Alright, so this week we have uh, a live news from uh, McLaren about a Mindrini F1 car. News about the Lamborghini Euros, is that correct? The SUV. Yeah, the SUV. And also about a millionaire selling his Ferrari collection. Danny, what you got? I got news on a new Lamborghini Aventador Rosa. It's heavily modified. And some BMW news that BMW fans will probably enjoy. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the Mercedes since it's a quick story. We all seen the Mercedes AMG GT. We all loved those on the A and A. It was previously on the show. Then they also did a GTS. Now they're going to do a GTR. It's going to be even more spec'd up. It's going to be more power, more torque. Typical Mercedes. You're gonna see some new arrow, and it's gonna look like I think a lot like the SLS Black Series. Oh, it's gonna have that wide-looking body. Kind of wide-looking body with a kind of spoilers. Oh, spoiler, spoiler. Moment. Yep. And the next thing, the t uh, two, f no, one, two, four Spider. We got one, two, four Spider. And now they're gonna be bringing up the Bar Series of it. They're basically gonna take the 1.4 liter uh, cylinder, four cylinder. And they're gonna definitely modify it, maybe turn to boost out about 160 horsepower for the US models. There's also chances of another uh, larger horsepower version coming out with 200 horsepower. Also, there is some talk, some rumors about a 1.7 uh, engine from Alfa Romeo 4C being cited as a possible possibility actually to mod. Now, uh, to the story about Paul Walker's father, we heard previously Paul Walker's daughter suing Porsche for their cars not being safe enough and it causing the death of her father. Well now, it's going to be the same thing with Paul Walker's dad suing Porsche for the same exact reasons. Personally, it's it's kind of a tragedy, like everyone, you know, love Paul Walker, he's a good guy. But the Carrera GT is one of the hardest Porsches to control. It has a record of so many wrecks with professional drivers because it doesn't it have that much electronics. It's a real, real drive, mid-engine, V10 it's hard sport car. car. It's yeah. just pure and core. So a lot of people are saying, hey, maybe if it was driven with a bit more, you know, respect. No, I don't think that's what really is the worst part of this. Now it seems like they're cashing in on the tragedy. Trying to make some money out of it? Yeah, first the daughter. Yeah. I mean, I get it, they're heartbroken stuff, but I mean, do you, are they really just doing it for money purposes? Are they doing it for money purposes or is it like personal loss and they feel they need to be compensated? I think right now, everyone coming out of the woodworks, his father came out of nowhere and also in the company. I think it's a money issue. And I think it's just really sad to have that happen. Especially with this, somebody like Paul Walker, he was a great guy, great car guy. Just, you know, that's a sad story. But to bring up the mood a little bit, actually not really, because it's about McLaren, yeah. and they were asked if they would do something like um, Porsche has. They have the 918, 911, the Cayman, and then the Boxer. Multiple tiers. Multiple tiers, tiers different price ranges. But McLaren, when asked that, they said no. The 540C is the lowest they'll go. They're not going to go cheaper. They don't want to be doing the same thing Porsche does. They are tier one, top tier. They don't want to be, you know, they're, they're capping it hard. They don't want to flex, make a lot of flexibilities. Uh, maybe just keep the brand name, you know. It's the brand name. Yeah, it's the brand name. They don't want to, you know. And what I say? Hell, do it, yeah. Make more more P1s, more, do stuff like that. Make it like the new Zonda Everlasting. There's new, new versions yeah. coming out all the time. I think it would be great. But it is sad that actually they don't want to. If you're looking to buy it cheap, you're not going to get anything cheap from McLaren. Unless you're buying probably the a used model, probably. Which one was it? The last one? The MP? MP412C. The copy, like, it seems like a copy machine, the name. But yeah, that would be like the cheapest option. Yeah. Which honestly, for McLaren, come on. You can't complain about that. Yeah. But what you got about McLaren, Harvey? Alright, so now, uh, speaking of top. Top line McLaren cars. Um, McLaren is um, is um, producing, uh, well, trying to produce a uh, so-called mind-reading car using the latest technology. Although it is in the earliest stages, 
they're, they're going to call the car the MP4X. Wait, is this for Formula One racing? It is for F1 racing, yeah. Uh, typical? Yeah. So, um, there's a theoretical possibility that it could um, take instructions from the driver's mind and just adapt it to the car, control the electronics. Think, I think it would be more of a situation where it checks the situation on the road during the race and then adjusts automatically. I mean, it would be good for them, especially when it comes to like fuel consumption and stuff like that, controlling that. The car being able to control that to like make the last lap or just last it out. Less pitting essentially. Yeah, and every millisecond counts in F1. Anything else about it? Um, yeah, well, specific. Um, nothing really specific about it, just um... It's just coming the, out, right? It's just coming out. Um, the other upgrades to it are um, improved solar, um, including solar cells to take energy from the sun, um, thinner batteries to save space and rate, and improved aerodynamics. Okay. I think yeah. that's a, a standard F1 thing. Yeah. Yeah. Just Honestly, I like the from I like McLaren team, the F1 team, but I don't know they haven't just had the success that it used to have. Well, Ferrari I mean, yeah. completely whooped them in the last. Then again, Ferrari has been getting whooped for the past few years. So McLaren's like an underdog. McLaren has always been. Oh, except when Senna was there, and then they were yeah. top dog, and they haven't really been to top dogs that yeah. again, except with Lewis Hamilton. But, you know, he moved on, now he's in um, Mercedes doing actually really great. What else you got, Harvey? Alright, so, um, I have, um, a millionaire uh, selling his Ferrari collection. So, the guy's name is Tony Susami. Susami? Foreign name. So. Well, yeah. <laughs> Susami! Sorry yeah. if you butchered that. Yeah. So, uh, he's selling his entire McLaren collection, which is... McLaren, I think so Oh, Ferrari. Ferrari collection, yeah. So his entire Ferrari collection, um, the whole thing is going for 13.5 million. The cheapest is a 1988 uh, 320GTS at 150k. Yeah. The most expensive is an 03 Enzo at 2.8 million. Classic Enzo, yep, there it is. <laughs> yeah, part is the But also, actually, I actually have a peek on the list. He does have an F40, so I mean, the man has taste in cars. F40 is great. Yeah. Let me see it. I need to see this list. Name it off. 1995 F50, F40, you have an Enzo. And a 250 GT. Damn. Yeah. That's up there? Yeah, 250 uh, GT uh, Special Edition was the uh, Enzo. And a Dino. He has a Dino? I mean, he's a hardcore Ferrari guy. I mean, he likes the Italian stallions. You can't really. The cars he has are fantastic. I mean, if he need, a, he needs an adopted son, like ASAP, I am available. If anyone has any cars like that, I am available. Another, another thing about these cars is that they are pure stock. He doesn't tune them or anything. They are in mint condition. Nice. Including those two fifties? Yes. Wow. So, and two fifties are going for like two and a half million, right? What are the yeah. highest Ferraris up there when it comes to prices? Yeah, I'm surprised yeah. they're going for just that much because yeah. recently the racing series ones have been going for the Le Mans. Mans. Million. Yeah. Yeah. Le Mans. They've been going for millions. Like Le Mans is always up there. Alright, Harvey, but besides that, while we're getting put away our woodies over Ferraris, what you got? And it's uh, less exciting news. So, Lamborghini's uh, SUV, the Euros. Urus. So, Urus, yeah. So, it's expected to uh, debut in the 2017 uh, Frankfurt Motor Show, and it has just been confirmed that it will have a twin turbo, twin turbo charged V8 to give it more torque. Now, that's a new thing. Twin turbo? For that no, thing? not even that. Lamborghini doesn't really go V8s. They're either V10 or V12. Yeah. They never go to V8. That's new. That's like something else. I don't like it. I hate either, it. Either way, I don't like it. It's, it, it, it looks because of this stupid project, the, the Lamborghini Hypercar to compete yeah. with the P1, the 918, and La Ferrari has been put away for a bullshit SUV with a puny V8. This is not Lamborghini, this is anti-Lamborghini. I can bet you this is coming down from the head honchos at Audi who own this bullshit. I hate that. Let Lamborghini do what they want. I mean, I mean, it's not going to be like a commonplace car like you see like in like the... It don't matter! Let Lambo do Lambo! 
I don't think he's gonna get as much hype or attention as like you see now, like a Ventino. It's not gonna get that same spark because like you don't really look at Lambo and see SUVs or sedans, even though they do have a, they have a sedan concept at the museum itself. You don't really oh, hear them spread it. Oh, oh. But on to other news, my side, the better side of the Lamborghini story today. Mansory is putting out another heavily tuned Lamborghini Aventador, except this time it's the Roadster. God, how many Mansory stories have we been doing? We did the GT, Continental GT, GT, Continental GT, GT the Maserati, Maserati, and, and now we have the Aventador. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with more Mansory. This thing is just full blown out ridiculous. The looks, the angles, everything. The entire car looks like it's covered in carbon fiber. It's like a carbon fiber paint. It's amazing. I think it's a wrap, right? It's probably a wrap. They're all like, you know, the splitter, the diffuser, the yeah. wind. All carbon fiber. Looks hella awesome. The wheels look like they're carbon fiber as well. They got blaze. It's got a yellow trim. It looks gorgeous. Um, they, did, they just uh, did a huge change for aero purposes. A completely new exhaust made of stainless steel. Crazy exhaust system. Um, and the best part, Four digits when it comes to horsepower. 1,233 rake horsepower with the Mansory turbos. Um, 664 what? That's one thing Mansory does rake. Power. power. Completely bonkers. Um, 664 pounds feet of torque and a 0 to 62 mile per hour time of 2.6 seconds flat. Man, that's a Bugatti level. That's a Bugatti level. I'm just gonna say Porsche also does that, and I love the Turbo S. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's uh, stock, but um, it's uh, it's ridiculous. It's definitely like a showstopper. Um, don't really see it as it being driven on the track more than being in a showroom. It has all that power, but honestly, it'll be picked up by yeah. somebody who has a lot of money and needs a new tour. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, the inside looks ridiculous. I, it's like um, custom badge. Everything is custom made, uh, custom mastery badge on the steering wheel instead of the, tip, um, the traditional bull. Um, yellow interior with like a black carbon fiber and smoky interior. It looks completely ridiculous. It's got like a list of smoke. Overall, looks like a great car. Um, I don't think it's that much differences of the or original Aventador besides it being a roadster. On the other hand, my best part of this. As I talked about previously, the BMW M4 GTS has been announced, and guess what? All sold out. So, I'm guessing the hype did live up to this car. Then again, the numbers weren't there to provide the masses. Yeah, but dude, like, can't you be happy for once? <laughs> I mean, no, it looks like a great car, it's fantastic, but I mean... You can't get it. There's not enough supply to meet the I mean, Yeah, you can't get it. If you're planning on it, you like it, too bad, it sucks. I mean, it sucks to be us too. <laughs> hey, I'm excited to see how it's gonna do out on the track days. Things you guys see. It will be a track day car. Yeah, we have a, an M6 that just went dim, but it was an M6. So, we're gonna be seeing some crazy things from BMW, but I think that about wraps it up for today. Yeah? Yeah. That's some good stories, the hypercar stories. That about wraps it up. We'll see you again next week. See you guys.